Hey yo, it's your girl Cass. I'm gonna start doing my lives on my other page, but I wanted to get in here today because I met with one of my old friends who's a nurse. And some of y'all know, like, I was in nursing school. I completed two semesters and then decided not to um, finish for reasons that I'll get into or if I haven't already. So, it was interesting. Like, I was having a conversation about healthcare because that's why I actually stopped going to nursing school because of my outlooks on it, certain things I didn't like, care for, and learned about. So, I was with my friend yesterday, and I was... We got on that topic for some reason, so we were talking about it, and I got to the point of speaking about um, circumcision, how that's actually... How, because healthcare has become such a business. And I think people are not seeing that. Some, I feel like some people do, some people don't, but healthcare has become a business. And so they're taking advantage in different ways that people don't realize. And circumcising like baby boys is definitely one of the ways that they're doing that. I'll say this because I didn't know, like, I guess before you complete or become a nurse, like they teach you how to circumcise a baby boy. So with that being said, he told me that he was just told, I think randomly one day, like he was gonna do this. And what they got was dextrose. I don't know if you guys know what dextrose is, but it's just another word for sugar. I always knew that they didn't get any kind of anesthesia when that was done, but I didn't know what the process was so he kind of explained to me that yeah they just gave him dextrose which is just sugar and i just posted something on my story about it because i feel like it's something that is really important and when he told me i was like so upset i really was because i didn't know that what they used and if anybody knows you should know that sugar is definitely a drug It's not considered a narcotic, but it's definitely a drug. And it does, like, affect your brain the same way that cocaine does. So, if it shows up on an MRI of your brain that, like, it does the same thing as cocaine, it might as well be cocaine. So, now you're telling me the first traumatic thing that you do to a baby which is circumcision you give them sugar you give them sugar what kind of tactic is that like why would you give them sugar so and then when you think about how people eat when they're down or traumatized or going through depression they go for sugary foods and first of all i'm not gonna like let's get into the fact that first of all it is a business because in third world countries who don't or people who don't have money to go to the doctors to get circumcised they're regular and they're fine the only reason why they promote it is because what they say it's hygiene that you know things can get built up this down the third first of all you was born this way you can teach a, a young boy how to wash himself so that he is clean because the argument can be made about a person who is morbidly or or beast and they have crevices they have certain areas in their body they can't reach or um they can't reach or wash, which creates moisture and leaves room for bacteria. So, but for me, it doesn't make sense because you was born this way. God made you this way, right? For the religious people, you were born this way, you were made this way, but yet it's just so that this should be done. Why is it? And you're not gonna tell me that's a business? And it's also, it's also the most sensitive part on a boy's body that is used for bonding and then you wonder why men are the way that they are too 
less emotional, more logical. Like, let's really get into it. I'm not here to, again, shame anybody for getting it done. I'm just letting you know to be more aware of what's happening. And another thing, when this is done, what are you doing with that foreskin? Because I know if y'all seen little clips on the media of celebrities saying in order for them to keep them young, they're using certain parts of little people in order in whatever routine they use for their skincare. How come y'all never asked about that? How come y'all never asked like, what are y'all doing with that after you take it off? What is it being used for? How are you discarding it? And y'all making money off of that? Like, what's really happening? Again, I'm just here to plant seeds and to just be, for y'all to be a little bit more aware. Because for me, I believe everything happens for a reason. I didn't even know this was part of, like, what I'd have to do to become a nurse. Because had I, I actually been in that situation where I wasn't aware or prepared for, I would have, knowing what I do know, I would have been very upset in that situation. And I did ask my nurse friend, like, how did you feel in that situation? Like, were you okay with it? Was it something like you just went along with? Or did it bother you? They said, like, it did bother them initially, but it's one of those things that was just like, okay, well, I have to do it. So they did it. I'm just saying, we need to be more aware about what's happening to us our children and how you are being used and don't give me that oh it's been happening for x y and z well it's been happening for x y z and y'all never thought about what i'm even saying right now probably or were told how it was done and i don't care about the jews like at the end of the day that's a whole different topic about religion x y and z but at the end of the day you was born this way for a reason you was born made perfectly but somebody who became doctors or whatever told you like this was the best idea not not that you should teach your 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 child how to properly you know clean their body but no get rid of it so that they don't have to deal with it but you're doing what with it I'm going to post something else on my story because he makes another point about sugar. But it just blew my mind that that was the first thing or that is the thing that they would use to do something that's so traumatic. You would use sugar. A drug. And you wonder why, boys, the rates of autism and X, Y, and Z is so high in boys. Come on, start like y'all need to start to put things together, okay? Cause nothing is a coincidence. Please understand that. And if they're doing it, they're not doing it just for funsies. They're definitely gonna get a benefit out of them. Cause the United States is a corporation. It is a business. But just a thought for today. That was my TED Talk. But I hope you guys have a great day. But just for me, like, personally, that really bothered me hearing that the other day. And I just had to speak on it because... And if you're a nurse, I want to know what your experience was like. And how you felt like when you was in that position. Were you, were you okay with it off jump and thought it was okay? Or this something in you was just like, mm, maybe this is a little weird. Like, this is off. Like, but you did it anyways. Like, I want to re actually want to know your thoughts. So I'm going to drop this um, on my IG. But please, like, I want to know you guys' thoughts and what your experience was like. Because just hearing it, I was really, like, really, really upset. But I hope you have a great day. Please follow my other page, Cast the Light, and see you guys next time.